Hey guys, welcome back to Rated RPG. This is Ray here, and we're talking about GDC, the Game Developers Conference, which was set to play, take place in San Francisco. Well, it has been canceled due to the coronavirus outbreak. The coronavirus has got a lot of people freaked out, and some folks are panicking unnecessarily. Some folks are justified in their thinking. So let's take a look at this and what you can do about it. When it comes to GDC, this is something that just really just, it was bound to happen. A lot of folks pulled out of PAX East. I think Sony was probably the first and the biggest. And then come GDC time, as infection rates have gotten higher, Sony pulled out, Square Enix pulled out, uh, Microsoft pulled out, Unity, you name it. Everybody was like, "Uh uh-uh, sorry, we don't feel comfortable going to the west coast of the United States, which is where a lot of the infections that have taken place in the United States have happened, and we don't feel comfortable having these big events where lots of people show up. And as a result, GDC was forced to, just they had no choice. They were forced to announce that they are postponing GDC 2020. Now... They said that they're going to be postponing it towards the summer and seeing what happens then. I honestly don't think that GDC is happening this year because if coronavirus gets all sorted out by then, they're going to be competing with E3. This is coronavirus gets sorted out by the summer, then this is going to be the biggest year for E3 in a while because a lot of stuff that has gotten either postponed, Taipei Game Show, PAX East, GDC, and pushed back will all be showing up at EDE3. So we can only hope that coronavirus is sorted out by then. But regardless, this just means that things are going to continue getting pushed back. And until the virus is sorted out, we may just be getting a lot more questions as to what's going to happen. Or companies could opt to be doing some sort of just more digital drops in the way that Nintendo does giving us uh, Sony State of Plays, Nintendo Directs, you name it, Xbox Live shows. I don't know what the, I don't know what Xbox calls theirs if they even do these. But that is something we could also see as well. But now, as for coronavirus itself, I just want to kind of talk about that for a moment and help people understand that while this virus is certainly deadly, it is unlike anything we have seen since... Uh, Ebola a couple years ago, but the infection rate is much higher. I think everybody needs to understand this is something that is serious, but not something that people should panic over. I've uh, seen things about people going to CVS, going to Walgreens, going to Walmart, and facial masks being just completely out of stock, antiseptic, uh, hand cleanser being completely out of stock. That is all stuff that needs to be used by the people who need it. Face mask. If you're wondering, do you need a face mask? Will a face mask help you be prevented from getting a disease? The answer is no. Face masks are for people who are already sick so that they don't (coughs) cough and get whatever it is they have on you. If you are using a face mask and you are not sick... You are actually creating a chamber there for materials to get stuck in your craw and potentially just creating a little virus chamber there. So face masks, those are something that you need when you are already sick. Those are to prevent other people from getting sick from you. Uh, And really, when it comes to the best way to keep clean, the simplest thing in the world to do is simply to increase your hand washing. Make sure you are washing your hands after whenever you use the restroom. Make sure to wash your hands both before and after. Make sure that if you've touched something and it's kind of gooey and you're like, eee, don't touch your face, wash your hands. If you uh, have shaken hands with somebody and you're worried about it, the best thing you can do is wash your hands and use soap. So many people seem to not understand that hand washing is really the biggest thing that can cut infections by a dramatic amount. Uh, As well, don't be worried. If you're my age, you probably don't really have to worry about catching this virus. Or if you do, 
it's probably not going to kill you. It's probably most definitely not going to kill you. So far, there have only been, to my knowledge, two confirmed cases of Americans dying. One was a 60-year-old individual in Wuhan, the epicenter of the infections. The other, 50-year-old man in Washington State who already had pre-existing conditions. Those who are most likely to die from coronavirus are either the very young with underdeveloped immune systems, make sure to get your vaccinations, or the elderly, or those with pre-existing conditions. If you are somebody who is in good health and does not and does not fit into any of those categories, then you are unlikely to be affected by this in any way, shape, or form beyond normal flu-like symptoms. Now, I realize I'm not a medical professional, and this is not really have a lot of authority coming from me, but this is what I have gotten from doctors. And the best thing we can do in this time is just try our best not to panic and not to fall into any of the misinformation that we see online. I actually had one of my students talk to me and say, isn't it true that we're all going to die because haven't like X thousands of people have died here in the United States already? I had to explain to them that only, uh, oh, I had to explain to them that only uh, 60-ish people at that time, now 69 Americans, have even been infected. So, be on the lookout for misinformation. Adhere to just regular hygiene standards. Hand washing, hand washing, hand washing. All right. Uh, Really, that's all we got for today as far as this video. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. You know what to do. Be sure to be safe out there. Let's hope that this virus will either just go away thanks to warm weather or that the scientific community, the medical professionals out there, the CDC, the WHO, and the uh, NIH are able to just come together and get a vaccine developed as soon as possible. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG. I appreciate you checking out the channel. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications so you can get all the latest updates from Rated RPG.